Yo, yo, what up, Team Handsome Guy? It's your boy Ryan McGinn here, back with another video for you. And if I haven't told you yet, you're looking great. Anyways, in this video, I wanted to, uh, first off, thank all the dudes that came for the first ever Handsome Guy experience, which was this past weekend. Um, I'm going to be dropping some pictures into the Facebook group. I'm going to be uploading a highlight video to the channel. But if you weren't here, you did not know how awesome it was because it was fucking amazing. But this video was spawned by a conversation I had with a couple of guys throughout the weekend and it was all about insecurities. Now, everybody has insecurities, even myself. I have a couple, actually two major insecurities that I'm gonna re reveal to you right now, which is, God, it's the dumbest thing I could possibly do. But whatever, I love being transparent, I love helping you out, because if you can learn from me, awesome. Anyway, so, when it comes to insecurities, just know that everybody has them. If you're trying to do anything, if you're trying to get better at life, if you're trying to get better with how you look, if you're trying to lose weight in the gym, if you're trying to do anything to improve yourself, you're going to have critics, you're gonna have haters, you're gonna have cynics, you're gonna have people that just want to crab a bucket mentality you and pull you back down and be like, come back here, man, it's average and mediocre down here and you wanna stay here. Don't fucking listen to those. Number one, if you have insecurities, no matter what they are, do not let them stop you from doing what you wanna do. So, for example, many of you may have probably seen one of my biggest insecurities and who knows, you might have been an asshole and commented about it too, but if you haven't noticed, my bottom teeth are pretty fucked up. Not something I can really control when I was growing up. I didn't get braces on my bottom, only got them on the top. Parents couldn't really afford to get them on both teeth. Whatever, when I was a kid, didn't really matter, but now that I'm making YouTube videos and I have thousands of people, and actually millions, actually two million people that have watched all my some of my videos and my channel, now see these teeth. What am I gonna do about that? Should I have been like, oh man, my teeth are messed up, I shouldn't fucking do YouTube videos and help guys because, you know, I just need to get my teeth fixed first. No. That is succumbing to the crab in the bucket mentality that is letting average media, mediocre people hold me down. So what do I do? I make this shit anyways. Now naturally, I have gone to the dentist. I have inquired about what it would take to get my bottom teeth fixed and braces and all of that jazz. Well, it's to the tune of like anywhere around $7,000. So until I can get to the point where I can afford to spend a cash payment of $7,000 to get my teeth fixed and worked on, I'm not gonna do it. But the point of this video is, do I let that excuse stop me from making style videos to help you? Fuck no. I'm still gonna do it because that's what I do. That's how you get forward. That's how you help people. That's how you become awesome in life. You don't let the mediocre crab in the bucket guys hold you back and be like, man, you're just ugly, you don't make videos, yada yada. Don't do that. So, with that said, if you have an insecurity, if you have something that's like totally fucking up your mind, you gotta get over that shit and do what you wanna do anyways. If you're overweight, work out. If you're, you know, short, get muscular. If you're fat, get skinny. I just said that, I'm sorry. You know, if you're, you know, have a stutter, work on your speech. Try to improve, but sometimes you just can't. You're always gonna have a little stutter. You're always gonna be, you know, pale. You're always gonna, you know, maybe you have a weird shaped head, whatever. But don't let that shit stop you from doing shit that's gonna better you, help other people, and make your life better. If I would've done that two years ago, Team Hansen Guy would've never existed if I would've let the people that comment about my teeth be like, oh, fuck it, I'm never making a YouTube video again. I'm done, I quit. My teeth fucked up. No, just let, keep doing you, keep doing it, don't worry about that shit. And you're probably wondering what the second insecurity I have is. Well, growing up, I used to always have a little extra man boobage going on. Well, I worked out enough that 95% of that is gone and you don't see it anymore because I do tons of upper chest and I, yes, you know, shit does bother me. I do my best to fix it, which you should too. You should always be actively working on improving things that you don't like about yourself. But sometimes it comes to the point where you just say, fuck it, uh, maybe it's just I can't fix it, maybe it takes surgeries, maybe it takes a lot of time. Because like I said, if I even if I started fixing my teeth today, it's gonna be years before they're fixed. So that could be four or five years before of me not making YouTube videos, no. I would be broke, homeless, not being able to pay rent, and not helping you. So, I hope that helps you get over your insecurities. And if you're wondering, this jacket is from Cotton On, it's a windbreaker type of thing. Because I know I'm going to get a comment about that, probably 12, and they're probably still going to comment on that because they don't watch my videos like I do. But either way, if you're dealing with any insecurities, 
don't let that shit stop you from doing what you want to do. And like, like I said, I even I'm hesitant right now to put this video up on my channel. I know it's going to get